Hey folks, Matt here with West Chicago Railroad. Today, we're going to review my Lionel Union Pacific Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Big Boy number 4014. So I'm really excited about this review. Uh, been waiting for this engine to come. Um, I've had it for a few months, uh, but uh, this is going to be a great review. Um, first, we're going to go over some brief history of the locomotive. Uh, we're going to go over the locomotive features, and then we'll run it out around the layout. So some brief history on the Union Pacific Big Boy. It's an articulated 4884 steam locomotive. It was manufactured by the American Locomotive Company. That should sound familiar because the American Locomotive Company is Elko. Uh, the Elko PAs and various other um, engines. Um, the, the Big Boy was uh, produced... Uh, between 1941 and 1944, it was operated by the Union Pacific Railroad, um, and it was uh, in revenue service until about 1959. Uh, this is the largest steam locomotive ever built. Uh, they were specifically designed for hauling freight um, up steep grades, uh, you know, west of the Cheyenne. Um, so uh, this particular big boy, 4014 was rebuilt and placed into excursion service last year. Um, and I was really lucky uh, to have it come through my hometown uh, where I was able to video record it. Um, that's where my intro video is from. And take pictures. Uh, I was also able to see it on display in none other than uh, the city of West Chicago where it stayed for a few days uh, before heading back west. Um, the, so my the primary reason why I picked up the 4014, well, it you know that road number has a little bit of personal sentiment uh, sentiment to me um, since I was actually able to see it uh, in person um, and it was a, a fantastic experience altogether. So let's go over some of the model features. These big boys were offered in the Lionel 2019 catalog and um, they were. Delivered around March of this year, uh, 2020. Uh, the minimum curve radius is 031, so they're super safe uh, to go around uh, some of the tightest curves. Um, the length of the engine with the tender is about 29 inches. Um, so it's, <laughs> even though it's a semi-scale locomotive, it's extremely long. Uh, this uses the new uh, Lion Chief Plus 2.0 technology. Um, so uh, it's got uh, great sounds, great detail. Um, you can use the Lion Chief Bluetooth app if you want. Um, it's basically, I shouldn't say basically, it is based on TMCC. So that's how you set it up. Um, I have a legacy remote. Um, so when I set it up, uh, I set it up for TMCC. Uh, so again, just to con uh, just to kind of uh, make that point, this is not a legacy locomotive. Um, it is Lion Chief Plus 2.0. Um, it uses TMCC uh, as its uh, command control system. So let's go ahead and point out a few really cool details on this. Uh, there are uh, number boards up here. Um, these are not lighted number boards. Um, but they are, they are number boards, uh, nonetheless, uh, and I really like that they put those up there. I think that is, is a really important detail on these, uh, these, uh, Union Pacific Big Boys. Um, really cool bell here. Uh, there's a headlight here. Uh, it's got the numbers on the side as well. Those actually light up because of the headlight. There's a Union uh, Pacific plaque on the front. Uh, you have, uh, uh, dual stacks here. They, smoke comes out of both. Um, whistle here. Um, just to, to just so you know, this is not a whistle steam locomotive um, that is only available in legacy units. So there's no whistle steam, but you know what? Not a big deal for me. Um, this thing is great. It sounds great, um, and you'll hear that later on when we go over a couple of the, the sound details. So uh, there's some pop-up valves here. Uh, there's some great details along the side. We'll make our way a little bit further down here in a second. Uh, but for a Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Line Master engine, um, they did a great job with the details. Uh, here's some uh, builder's plates here. Um, there's a, a lot of little details. Not as much as you're going to see like on a Legacy uh, Big Boy. 
but I think for the price point and for what you get, um, there's a lot of great stuff on this engine. All right, so as we continue down, uh, we have a dynamo on top. Uh, we have uh, some great detail here in the drivers. Uh, we have a, um, two painted red valves here, which are actually pretty cool detail there. Um, there's actually simulated uh, glass here. So, you know, plastic inserts. Um, usually don't see this on this type of uh, Lion Master engine, but um, uh, they did put that in there, and I'm really happy that they did because I think that's a really cool detail. All right, so take a quick look inside the cab here. Got an engineer, got a fireman figure. Um, you know, cast in details here, nothing's painted. Um, it does have the red glow uh, in the firebox. Um, you know, it's it's it, it's nice. You know, you're not really, really looking inside of there at all most of the time anyway. And um, I'll show you something else too that I didn't point out before, but the... Uh, the tender actually hugs pretty close to this engine, and it's actually pretty more remarkable for a um, for uh, you know for a line master for a uh, engine that takes uh, really tight curves to be hugging uh, that close to each other. So I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so let's move down to the tender. Um, actually, before we go down there, I wanted to show you something really cool, which I pointed out before, is that the gap here that's pretty darn small for a engine of this size to take the curves that it does. Um, usually you see a, a pretty large gap in there, so that way um, when it takes those curves, um, you know, the, uh, the engine can swing out and the tender can make it around, but that's pretty incredible that, that it's that tight. Um, that kind of blew me away. Um, so let's just uh, go down a little further here. Just look at the tender. Um, you know, I got a plaque here. Um, great Union Pacific uh, lettering here. There's some rivets. There's a simulated coal load on top. Um, there's some marker lights in the back, which we'll see after we start it up. Um, but all in all, great detail here for, again, for, you know, not talking legacy here, but we're talking line master um, value. And they did a fantastic job with this. So... Let's go ahead and uh, start it up and listen to it and check the lights and everything else. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the engine number on my legacy remote and I will hit the startup. So you can see the headlights come on. Uh, there are lighted marker lights in the front as well. Uh, it's just the number boards don't light up. Great smoker. All right, let's hear the bell. All right, let's hear the whistle. It's fantastic. That is one of the best, I believe, features on this locomotive is the whistle because um, from what I read and what I heard is that they actually put the uh, legacy big boy sounds into this engine. And number two, uh, the tender actually has two speakers. Uh, because of the tender size, they were able to actually get two speakers in there. And I think that, I think that additional speaker just uh, makes it so much better. All right, so here's a shot of the back of the tender. Um, as you can see, the two red marker lights, and actually three, technically. And then when you put it in reverse, you get a uh, cool uh, backup light. So, pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's take it for a run.
So, thanks for watching, folks. And if you like the video, please hit like. Please uh, add any comments, uh, any questions. And, uh, you know, if you can hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate that. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.